So good morning everyone. Good morning. Good morning. I would like to welcome you to the Babakanalatos Public Library. This is, uh, this is going to be our classroom for today. Uh, we're going to deal with uh, some uh, issues about tourism and uh, they will be our hosts. So, first of all I would like to ask some introductory questions. Do you know what a tourist guide is? What does he do? Anyone? Hmm? What does he do? Is it a... It's a job, right? What does he do? Is it a hobby? No. No, no it's not a hobby. So, it's a job. Where do I work? Do I work in an office? Or do I work outside? outside. In an office. I work outside and in an office. Okay, I, I work both in an office and outside. Yes. And what do I do? Hmm? What does it have to do with? Thanks, like, wait a minute. It has a group <laughs> of people, and you just go around the town and show them the status or uh, any monuments or any signs or yeah. something. <laughs> okay, do I wear a uniform? I'm a tourist guide. Okay, do I wear a uniform? Do I wear something special? No. No. Sometimes yes. Sometimes yes. What do I wear? Like a hat or a. Uh, a badge? Yeah. Yes. Um, sometimes shirt, t-shirt. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's it. Okay. I sometimes wear something that makes me uh, be different. different. So that everyone sees me. I'm in the crowd. And what do I hold? Do I hold something? Yes. Yeah. I sometimes hold a flag. This is a Greek flag, but I can hold any flag. Something that can hold up so that everyone sees me, right? Because if we are in a site that there is too many people around, the group that I have, uh, that I am responsible for, has to follow me, okay? And sometimes he wears a hat, a colored one, so that everyone can see around. Okay, so, we're going to see a presentation concerning the profession of a uh, tourist guide and especially for uh, we're going to be a tour guide around our city. So, what is a tourist guide? We already said some things, you answered my questions. This is a tourist guide, this is a group of tourists, they come to your town and you see that you have to be like this. According to the official website, the, according to a law that there is about tourist guides, a tourist guide is a person accompanying tourists or visitors of the country, foreigners or nationals, leading them and suggesting the sites of the land, the monuments ancient or historical, the works of art of all periods, explaining to them their meaning, destination and history, and providing more general information about ancient and modern Greece. You can be a tourist guide without being in front of an ancient monument just like that. So you can be a guide to modern Greece, maybe an institution or something, just like the one we are here. It's not ancient, it's modern. So, I want you to go to the tables and work alone on your worksheet. You have a worksheet about the nature of the profession, which is this one. You will read the text and answer the questions. You have three questions, for, three to four questions with true or false, and three questions that you have to find and uh, uh, copy uh, on the worksheet. Everyone understand what I said? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Please pass to the tables and work on your own. You have three to four minutes, no more. You need no more.
let's do let's see what uh, you have found uh, we will start with the true false uh, sentences it takes according to the text it takes five semesters attendance to become a tourist guide in Greece is this true or false George true true that's correct the tourist guide must know at least two foreign languages Amalia it's false it's false no how many languages does it have to speak only one just one just one any language Usually, it's usually English because it's the more uh, the most common, but uh, just one is fine. Apart from history and tradition, a tourist guide should have a deep knowledge of Greek society and geography. Betty? False. Are you sure? True. Eh? True. It's true. It's true. It's true. You do have to know uh, uh, about the Greek society and geography so that if someone asks, you, you will be able to answer. A tourist guide should treat visitors with respect and good manners. Stefanet? True. True. That's true. So, how many days can a guiding last? How many? How many days? Stefanet? Guiding can last up to 20 days. Okay. From an hour? Up to 20 days. Someone may want the full uh, uh, and uh, exclusive uh, sightseeing. What other elements does a guide speak about during rides? You know, when they are, the people are in the bus, what does he have to talk about? Everyone is on the bus, so what do they need to know about? Rosini? Climate, climate, territory, flora, um, fauna, fauna, and... Okay, so, and the last one, what does the tour guide end up being in the end? Hmm? At the end of the text it says something... Mimitra? Being an upper passenger inside the borders uh, of the country. Okay, thank you very much, Dimitra. That's great. Okay, so we move on. Now, you're gonna have to do a role play. You're on a guided tour around Nafaktos. You're about to visit Papatarlabu's library. This is where we are. Yes. You are about to visit the Fetihe Zami, the Venetian port, and the Botcheris Tower. I want you to think, I will give you a worksheet with bubbles. This one. And I want you to think of questions that you could ask a tourist guide about these cultural monuments. You will have about five minutes to think of questions that you could use while uh, during being in a uh, sightseeing. So, could you do this? Could you give this away, please? Thank you. And you too. Your five minutes starting now. Building. 
Why was it built? Why was it? Okay, what's the reason? What's this? Uh, what does it serve? How many visitors has every year? Uh, it is unique. Part of the cost of this building. When was a uh, built? What is the value of the building? How big? Okay, Constantine. How many people uh, <laughs> have built it? Okay, how many people did uh, uh, work how? for the building? What about you girls? Uh, we don't know when, so that's the reason why we are using the... How many years did it take to build it? Why did it take this name? Uh, when did he die? Okay, thank you. That's lovely questions. Uh, a tourist guy should be in place and should answer this correctly. Okay, let's move on to the final stage now. We have uh, ready the questions and we have ready our tourist guides. Now we are going to visit some of the landmarks of Nafaktos. The Babaharalabus Library, the Fetihye Jami, uh, Anemoyani statue and Tervande statue and the Venetian port and we will end up being in the Bocceris Tower. You will be our tourist guides, one will be the guide and the rest of us will be the tourists. And we will all enjoy the tour. Thank you very much. Babacharalabis Hellenic American Municipal Library was founded on March 3, 1954. Andreas Gozonis had donated blood blood for the construction of public services and utilities, buildings as well as the library. According to the contract, Dimitris Papacharalabius stated willing to dedicate part of uh, his savings to the embellishment of the city, to welfare projects and the intellectual promotion of the people, and decided to construct a building. Today, Papacharalabius Library continues to meet the requirements uh, of the local community and students of the region who visit to acquire information about their work and to borrow books, mag magazines, CD-ROM. In 1981, the state appointed Papacharalabius to be the central library of the area and equipped it with a mobile library in order to visit and lead books to schools uh, municipal libraries and cultural uh, asso associations in small towns and villages of Napakti and Dorido provinces. <laughs> the library's collection currently consists of 60,000 titles approximately that are classified by the Jewish system with alphabetical list of authors and topics in digital format, local press files and magazines with literally social, historical and educational context. A public information center operates on the ground floor since 2003, equipped with nine computer uh, units that residents and visitors can use for free access on the web. The library also very often organizes several cultural events and book exhibitions. It is part of the uh, Future Library Network. The staff and volunteers promote online learning information and interaction with all members, with mentoring and skills development through workshops, seminars and projects for children, as well as with access to resources, uh, they support the library community in their effort to offer innovative services. In the library, there is a media lab through which it has been totally transformed into a modern, friendly and pleasant place. Hello, the Monday is closed, but I tell you for the, about this. Uh, it was a building in the orders of Sultan uh, Yazid. Uh, immediately after the tour of the city from the Venetia in uh, 1499 and uh, was the city's main mosque, mosque uh, throughout the Ottoman period. 
It was also known after its founder as the Bayezid Veli Mushu. The Mushu uh, has been ex excessively restored and now uh, pensions and an exhibition hall. This lighthouse was built in 1909. The Altitude of tower is 8 meters and the, and the height of focal plane is 16 meters. The lighthouse is located under, under the castle around of Lafayette's Harbour. The, nowadays uh, it is the landmark of the town and the ex exclusive castle in Europe having five uh, defensive uh, zones from the port to the top of the hill. The statue of Georgos Anemogiannis is found today on the western ramparts near the port of Naupactos. Georgos Anemogiannis was born in Paxi Island and took part in the deliberation of Naupactos during the Greek War of Independence. Because of his courage, Georgos Anemogiannis is considered a national hero gave his life defending his country. Today, the statue in the port of Naupactos represents him holding a torch. There is also another statue in his honor in the southern entrance of Gaios Harbor in his home place, Paxi Island. Naupactos has more than 25,000 years of history during which he experienced great prosperity and was associated with important historical events. This is confirmed by its fortification, which starts from the wall, continues with three consecutive walls and ends up in the castle. She says she got her name from the wolf now and Pignino, meaning I'm building a city. From there came the name Napoleon, the Venetian harbor, with the two towers that close the entrance in the trade of Napoleon. one of the most photographed spots in Western Greece. Ooh, yay! <laughs> the state of Cervantes in Afpaktos. Could it be that the Roman writer in home in a small Greek town? Instead, the state of Miguel de Cervantes surprisingly stands in the park near the port in Afpaktos in order to commemorate the participation of this great novelist into the sea battle of Afpaktos also known as the Battle of Lepanto. This battle took place October 1051 uh, and was decisive for putting an end to the Turkish na naval supremacy. Miguel de Cervantes is a great Spanish novelist, poet and player, playwright. At the time of the battle, he was 23 years old and was serving the Spanish inf infant. Uh, although Cervantes was taken down with favor, he resolved to stay below the decided to take part in the battle, saying that he would rather to die for his god and his king rather than hide under the blankets. During the fight, he got three uh, gunshots, woods, two in the chest, and one with his left arm, which paralyzed and was cut off. Cervantes used to say that he lost his left hand so he so that he could go go by his right hand, making of course a re reference to his little work. Many of his mil mi military experience are recorded in his famous novel Don Quixote. His, bra his brave fighting in the Battle of the Battle gained him this imposing iron statue in which he look at uh, at a feather he is holding up with a proud gesture as a representation of his discourse, literally work. The inscription above the statue says Miguel de Cervantes Savera, Spanish soldier, James of Letters, honor of humanity, wounded heroically at the National Battle of Naples. Thank you. Thank you. Bravo.
Botchery lies close to the Venetian castle and the port of Nafkoptos. It is an impressive construction which actually consists of two towers. The first tower, the west one, was built in the 15th century by, ne by Venetian builders. The east tower, the second one, is at the other side, uh, was built in the 16th century by Turks. This construction was, was uh, firstly used uh, as a residence for Turkish governors of Nafkotos. After the liberation of the city, 18th April 1829, this tower was bought by General Notis Botcheris, member of Botcheris family from Suli, Epirus, uh, who contributed a lot to Greek war of independence. The tower belonged today to the Dimitrios Enegli Botcheris uh, institution Sinon. and works as a museum. The crown of the tower bot, uh, hosts a permanent exhibition uh, about the bottle of Nafpaktos, October 1571. The exhibition constitutes of 80 repl rep replicas of paintings and gravers made by the most famous artists of that era. Thank, Thank you. Very much.